hello everyone I'm here with another video and in this video I will be testing rank 12 max porcupine versus rank 12 max dragonfly okay so before going into the battle we will show you the statistics and this will be a battle between two units of the same faction now the HP if you see the HP uh, porcupine has 200 more HP and armor is same for both porcupine and dragonfly and if you see the speed definitely helicopter has a lot of speed it has 12 view and porcupine has 10 view uh, not too bad a 180 cost so its cost will be high and 38 will be the production time consume three command points well dragonfly requires a lot less time to be produced now it has two weapons one is the SAM launcher another is the machine gun Okay, now it's the first the SAM launcher. It has 66 damage against armor 1 and against armor 2, 147, against armor 3, 93. So it's be best effective against armor 2. And we know the Dragonfly is a armor 2 or medium type. So it's best against helicopters. And the firing radius will be 9, rate of fire will be 138, firing accuracy 91, and the explosive radius 0.95. Now the machine gun here, the machine gun have you can say against armor 1 it has 81 damage and also I would like to mention this machine gun can attack both air and land units. So when the air unit is within its range, well its range is 6 which is a lot less than the SAM launcher. SAM launcher has 9 range and it has 6 range. So when the uh, helicopter or the airplane will be within the six cell radius then this will start attacking the air units but if there are land units within its radius this machine gun can also attack land units which makes it a, a, a anti-air tank with capability to attack land units now damage armor 2 will be 45 against armor 331 Rate of fire to uh, 266. That's very good firing rate, but the accuracy will be very low, and the rate of fire for this 138. Now for Dragonfly, the guided missile launcher does a bit more damage compared to the Porcupine SAM launcher. Firing range is, range is still seven, less two still less compared to a Porcupine SAM launcher. Rate of fire is not that good. Firing accuracy is good and explosive radius will be 0.75 and its machine gun has 70, 41 and 31 uh, damage against light, medium and heavy armor. Firing range will be 6.5 and rate of fire 163 that's good and firing accuracy is good on stationary mode but on the move it's reduced in a great extent. No, so now let's go into the battlefield. Alright, so here we will be starting our first battle since it's resistance. Now my porcupine will be yellow colored. This is the first porcupine. This will be one porcupine versus one dragonfly. And my units will be anti yellow colored and the dragonfly will be red colored. Now you see this porcupine came just too closer so that its machine gun of 6 point radius can reach the dragonfly. Okay, so after the battle this porcupine has almost 50% of its HP and we know it has two different weapons now uh, we will show you it uh, first weapon has six firing radius and another has nine firing radius so this uh, porcupine usually tries to go in as close as six point radius to attack any helicopters all right so the first battle porcupine won as expected and with 50 percent hp where typhoon loses about 30 percent of its hp killing one dragonfly so it was obvious that porcupine would lose more hp okay now this time dragonfly should be the winner we will see so you, you see that as always dragon uh, porcupines just come as close as 6.0 firing radius so that it's both weapon can function so the Remaining dragonfly Remaining uh, surviving one dragonfly lost 15% of its HP All right, so here there will be two porcupines again, but their enemy will be two dragonflies this time So we increase the number of porcupine by one Just 
Now here the dragonflies are coming and both dragonflies will be on a single porcupine this time on this uh, porcupine of left side is being targeted so two porcupines surviving and you see one lost 35% HP another lost like 45% HP all right guys so here we'll, we will have three dragonfly versus two porcupines so this time this will be a good battle since the number of dragonflies are greater this time so being more expensive units compared to typhoons against air units is uh, definitely not as good as typhoons but it also has the capacities to fight land units here see its machine gun looks beautiful yeah you see along its missile launcher it's also firing with machine gun okay so porcupine is the winner uh, when two porcupine fight three dragonfly it got 35 percent hp all right so this time the number of dragonflies will be increased again this time four dragonfly versus two porcupine and now since porcupine can is able to move so i have put them into patrol mode so that they can themselves choose their suitable position and attack with both their SAM launcher and the machine gun. So the machine gun has one benefit it can penetrate through the dragonflies that's why most all the dragonflies were badly damaged but none of them are killed except this one got full HP. Alright so here we will have being three porcupines and against them we will be using five dragonflies. Okay. So we're waiting for the show. One dragonfly down. It was the first to be dead. Second, a porcupine down. Third kill from the porcupine side. Okay, uh, getting a very close fight. Okay, this one is getting very close. Three versus five. Three porcupine versus five dragonfly. Winner is one dragonfly. And having only 10% HP. Alright, so now we will be having five porcupine versus ten dragonfly. The, their double number of dragonflies. Okay, so now we will be having a clear idea that how many porcupines are required to destroy 10 dragonfly. Okay, so we saw 5 porcupines are no match against 10 dragonfly. And here 1, 2, 3, 4, uh, 5, 6, 7 dragonfly surviving. And only 3 of them have lost some HP, other got full HP. Okay guys, here we have increased the number of porcupine into 6 now and they will be facing 10 dragonflies. Okay, so the dragonfly is about to make their move. We have 6 porcupines here. Patrolling, okay, due to the internet problem is... There are lots of lags here. Okay, here the... Dragonflies are coming and as expected they will be targeting on a specific porcupine so that they can beat them up not in a patrol mode. Now here we have five dragonfly still surviving. Now if you see the HP three of them got full HP one got 60% another another got 30% of its HP. Alright, the number of porcupine is increased from 6 to 7 now. Enemy will be 10 dragonfly again. Now the reason for the success for the dragonfly is firstly porcupine is not as powerful as dragonfly although it's more expensive. Secondly, I'm using the porcupines in patrol mode so their damage is being split to all the dragonflies here. 
where the dragonflies are specifically uh, focusing on the porcupines one by one. Now, which tactics is better for the SAM launcher vehicles? Attacking one or just simply go into patrol mode? We will see that later. But here, seven versus seven porcupine versus ten dragonfly. Three porcupine is finally surviving, and having two of them having fifty percent, another got forty-five percent, another got seventy percent HP. So that means that in order to beat dragonfly, you need to have seventy percent of the number of uh, seventy percent porcupine of the number of the dragonfly. Where in case of typhoons, you need sixty-five, sixty to sixty-five percent. Alright, so here we have 10 porcupines here. They will be facing 18 dragonflies. Okay, neither the porcupines of the dragonfly or the... Uh, neither porcupine or dragonfly had the best position. But still try to figure out what's going to happen. Okay, so the number of dragonflies were 8 more. So... Porcupines wasn't able to beat 18 dragonfly with just 10 of them. So among 18, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 surviving, almost all got full HP except a few lost 10 to 50 percent HP. Okay, so this time we will be having 11 porcupine. Last time was 10, and the dragonfly number will be still the same 18 dragonfly. So this time the position of the porcupine was very disappointing. They were split. Although I told them to patrol the same position, some of them came too close. The, uh, the gaps between them was too big. So they weren't patrolling the, in a proper way. They could have patrolled in the best way. Yes, porcupine losing this time too. Okay, so this time 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 10 dragonfly surviving and you see uh, although I increased the number of the porcupines still dra 10 dragonfly survives this time also the, my positioning was bad and s 4 of them got poor HP okay so this time there will be 12 versus 18 now the positioning is better but okay we will see who will win this time Okay, this time I got the porcupine in a proper position. 18 dragonfly versus 12 porcupines. Now the porcupines just came close enough to uh, six cell close so that they can also use their machine gun as well as their missile. Okay, so they did better this time. A lot more uh, dragonfly died. Still, dragonfly is the favorite here. So we have five dragonfly surviving, and three of them got very poor HP. All right, so now there we we will be having thirteen porcupines this time, and the enemy will be eighteen dragonfly, same as before. Now you see. Uh, the problem for porcupine is their visual range if and the dragonfly has more visual range So unless the porcupine detect these dragonflies they will not react so the Porcupines on the left side took a bit more time to react So 13 porcupine finally destroyed them so we saw last time porcupine uh, lost and uh, just one porcupine difference, so many surviving. Okay, I think it's also because of the formation. Okay. Alright, so this time 25 versus full CP, 40 dragonfly. 40 dragonfly versus 25 porcupines. Now we know that 70% uh, porcupines is required. That's why for defeating 10 of them, we needed seven porcupines. And for beating 20 of them, we required 13 porcupine. Now we will see can 25 porcupine beat 
40 dragonflies. Okay, and we think the answer is yes. The porcupine can beat So we have eight porcupines surviving, one got poor HP, uh, and the rest of them have healthy HP.